When you are creating assignments or resources for your students for distance or online learning, or if you're even just using a learning management system for in-person learning, it's really important to think about accessibility for your students. You want to think about all the technology and required instructional materials that you have. You want to make sure that they're accessible to all of your students. So you want to have resources available for students who may have hearing problems and you want them to be able to see, for example, closed captioning on videos that you show or on audio. And if you have a student who might not be able to see the screen very well, you want to make sure that you have things in place that allow screen readers to be able to access all of the content on what you provide for your students. Making sure that all of your content is accessible to students actually benefits each and every one of your students. You might have students take advantage of some of these different tools that don't have any um, hearing or visual impairments. So it's a good practice to use this on all of the materials that you place online. Now, there are four main things to think about. The first is links and lists. So when you are posting a link on one of your sites, you want to make sure that you have a good description of what that link is. And this is so screen readers, when it's reading to a person who cannot see the screen, they know exactly what it's talking about. So a good example is read about debunking the myth of voter fraud. That person who's listening to a screen reader will know what the article or what the link is about. If you just say click here to read the article, they have no clue what it is. You also want to make sure that you have bulleted lists and they can be bullets like you see right here or they could be numbers. And so you want to use that in the formatting tools of your software that you're using Google Docs or in your learning management system. A bad example would just be typing in the number one and having a space and then reading and then number two space and math. This is not a true numbered or bulleted list. Next, for all of your images, you want to make sure that they have an alt text description of the image. So when a screen reader goes through the page, they describe what the photo or image is about. You want to make sure that you have a good description, and that would include something like groups of students leaning on lockers versus just having the file name or leaving the alt text blank. And something else that's really important is the structure of your documents. You will see in Google Docs, in LMS systems, you will see different um, types of formatting. And if you choose the different types of formatting, so paragraph is for your regular text, heading one is for a title, heading two is a topic, that will help the screen reader read things in the correct manner. So it's really important for any of your documents that you always use these formatting tools that you will find. And the last part is tables. So when you are creating a table, you want to make sure that you have a header, and that you have a caption, and that you're not avoiding um, or that you're not leaving any cells empty. Now, this image here is taken from Canvas as a learning management system. And you'll see this little icon right here. This icon is the accessibility feature. And if you click on it, it will actually check your page to make sure that everything is accessible. And it will help you to fix things that might not be accessible for um, students. So right now, I am in a Canvas announcement. And in Canvas, you will see this rich text editor. You'll see it in announcements, assignments, discussions, pretty much everywhere on Canvas. When you are typing things in, you have this editor. I have put in a sample list that I typed. I just put one and then a period, some spaces, and then my list item. I did not use the bulleted list or the numbered list right now. So what I can do is after I have created my instructions or whatever I'm posting in Canvas, I can click on the check accessibility. And it has the accessibility checker and it says that there's one out of one issues. It says list should be formatted as list. All I have to do is click on the box right here and click apply and it fixed 
my page. So now my list is accessible for screen readers. This right here is what allows you to change the different parts of your text. So you can change things for headers, paragraph, etc., to help um, organize the page so it's easy for screen readers.